everybody. Hey, welcome to the show. Uh, I am the Notorious B.I.V. This is my boy, Pilot G. How's everybody doing? I almost forgot, like, the intro. It's been so long. It's been a long time. Yeah. I'm a teacher, and I had my summer off, so I was out of my normal routine. Yeah. But today was my first day back. Not my first day, my first week back in school, and so now I'm back into my routine of coming over on Fridays, so here we are. Yeah. Yeah, videos are tricky you know i mean it looks like we're just sitting here like talking but it, it is kind of work though in some ways right it's at least lining up our schedules and we don't live very yeah. close to each other so yeah so paul works at the junior high down the street from me here so it works out well uh because then after work we can just come by here and do our thing exactly but and for whatever, I mean, we took we took last summer off too, basically. I think so. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know how it just it just happens. When you get out of the habit, it just happens. But a lot of stuffs happened. Like tons of stuff has happened. I saw Deadpool and Wolverine. I saw the Ghost movie right here, right now. And I saw your video about that. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Did you do a video for Deadpool and Wolverine? No. Okay. It's no, I didn't actually. It's it's a huge movie and like people are gonna go see it or they're not gonna go see it. You know, whatever. Yeah. I didn't I didn't feel like reviewing it. But that's, anyway. That's fine. But yeah, what have you been up to, Paul? Anything interesting? Um I went to the Shakespeare Festival last Ooh. week. That was interesting. Nice. I had a birthday last week. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, Happy birthday. Thanks. I thought yeah. I thought the karaoke party was your birthday. That's true. We're having a karaoke party tomorrow to celebrate my birthday, even though my birthday was last week. Yeah. Maybe we should like maybe we should film some us doing karaoke, and we could like just put it up as a video. That would be fun. That would be kind of cool. I don't know. Do karaoke right now or film it at the party tomorrow? No, we can film it at the party tomorrow. I or, like I like that idea. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'll be in Pleasanton, California in a couple weeks. Cool. What for? Scottish Festival. Oh, nice. So if you want to meet up at the Scottish Festival, let me know. Leave a comment. <laughs> we can have a meet and greet. Where's Pleasanton? I don't even know. <laughs> it's, it's in California. <laughs> My boys. Are, I guess you've never been there before. No, my boys play in a a Scottish bagpipe band, and I'm going down with them. Cool. And they've been they've gone there like two or three or a couple. Yeah, they've gone a couple times, but I've never gone with them. Like I think Stephanie went with them once and whatever. Anyway. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, maybe we'll film some karaoke tomorrow. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, yeah, I mean, it's been like a summer. Um, maybe we can talk about this. So I go, I have the park right next door. And I go walking there occasionally. I, I'll just walk around the like upper part. There's like a track, I guess. Not really a track. It's just like cement, but it's like goes around the grass, a big grass area. Mm -hmm. But here, so, so I'm always... I'm always a little self-conscious about like I get so I so I, I there are three levels to the park and I like I walk up I go down here and walk up to the top level and then I go and walk around so when when I get up there I look around and I'm like okay like which way should I go which direction should I go because if there's someone else there like, like, do I want to, do I want to come around and like see them every time? Like, or, or and follow them when we pass or do I want to follow them? Right. <laughs> right. And it can be like, it can be kind of uncomfortable if you're like following a woman, right? Like, mm -hmm. like you don't want to, you don't want her to be uncomfortable. Like, oh, this dude's coming up behind me. You know what I mean? Right. So like usually, so, so I will err, I generally will be like, 
okay, if that one's going that way, I'm going to go this way, right? And then, like, then, you know, then we have to pass each other every so often, but I'm not going to, like, get behind her and be like, oh, now I'm staring at her butt, like, the whole time, right? I think that's better. I think you're making the right decision. I think that's better, too. Yeah. Um, so, you know, but then, yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's, it's walking etiquette. I take my jog, my dog for a jog in the morning, but I have a whole block system to go. So Mm -hmm. I'm not on like one path. I can go straight. I can turn right. I can turn left, you know? Right. So yeah, I don't have the same problem. Yeah. And, but occasionally, like, you know, occasionally it'll be like, like, you know, it'll just like work out weird where it's like, like I'm coming around this bend and this girl will will come out and like, now she's in front of me or something. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And then I'm just like, "Uh, okay, what do I do? Like, like, like the other day there was this girl that did that, (laughs) you know, and, and. So then I'm like, uh, you know, and she was hot. <laughs> that didn't help. But she's like walking in front of me and like, and we're walking at the same pace. Like, I'm like, should I speed up and go around her? Or but, slow down and you know? let her get woozy? But then, yeah, but then it's like, we're walking about the same pace and she's, and it's just like, I'm just behind her the whole time. And I'm just like, uh, this is weird. So, so. But occasion, but usually, like I'll listen to like news programs or something while I'm walking, and when one's done, I'll switch and go the other way, and then I'll switch and go back the other way, like just to mix it up, just to mix it up, just in case, like you know, like I don't want like my body to get used to like going one way and like maybe it like screws me up somehow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I I'm gonna stay balanced. That makes sense. But so, at, so at, at one point, I was just like, like, forget this. Like, I'm just going to turn around and go back the other way, you know? And I did. I went, I just went, I reversed. So, so if I walk, if I walk in my neighborhood to the canyon, then once I get in the canyon, then it's a, it's a really long, straight way that there's no turns or anything. Right. And so then I understand because then... You know, you're either following somebody or you're, or you're you're passing each other. One thing I've done because I don't want to be like right next to somebody else is I just like stopped and like pretended like I was tying my shoes or something just to let them get ahead of me. You know, right? Or looked at my phone or whatever, and then just like waited until they they were a little ways away from me, and then I like kept going, and then we weren't like right next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there's some, and there are some times where I just like, I don't even really want to like, like, run into anybody, you know? Like, I just want to like kind of be alone. Kind of so, like in the public restroom. Yes, exactly, like that. If you remember our <laughs> bathroom etiquette, I think it was one of our episode. very first videos. It was. <laughs> um, maybe I'll link it here at the end, but. Um, you're an introvert. I am an introvert. You want your peace. You want your space. Right. And I don't, um, yeah. And I mean, and I'm just there to like walk basically. Right. I don't really want to, um, and, and I do see people I know there, you know, and it's like, oh, okay, I guess I, and like sometimes I'll be like, you know, like if I time it right, like if I go this way and they're going this way, like I might not even have to like see them, right? I might, I might not, you know, it'll like work out. And like, sometimes I do that, but, um, you know, but other time, other times it's like, oh, I know, I know this person and it's like, I'm going to have to, I'm going to see him every time we go around and we're going to say hi and have to do that. <laughs> whatever. <thing. laughs> I don't know what, I'm not, that, I'm not that much of an introvert, but I am kind of sometimes. Well, that is just kind of weird, though. It's like you go to the grocery store, you see somebody you know, you say hi to them, you talk a little bit, 
and then you start, all right, we'll see you later. And then you just keep seeing each other because you guys, you just keep going back and forth and back and forth. You keep seeing each other over and over again the whole time you're at the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> and then occasionally there'll be like someone who's like, who's just there, right? Like hanging out on the grass or whatever, right? Oh, at the park? Yeah. And so it's like, so like I'm going to pass them every time I go oh, around that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. And sometimes it's like, there have been times where it's like a couple or something. And they're like, like hanging out on a blanket and not, not like, it's not like they're having sex or anything, but they're like. You know, being like lovey dovey, lovey dovey, or whatever, and I'm just like, you know, some, and sometimes it's it's <laughs> like they're like kids. It's like a pair of high school kids or something, you know. I'm just like, yeah, like I don't, like that's a little uncomfortable sometimes. Right. <laughs> yeah, so. there was there was a couple, like they're out in front of my house and they're like embracing, and it looked to me like they were saying goodbye to each other for a long time. And like, I go out there, I do whatever, I go back in the house, I come back out, they're still there. Like, I don't know, 20 minutes later, they're <laughs> yeah. like still in this in deep embrace. I'm like, what is happening here? Yeah. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm going to go back in the house again, you know? It's yeah. kind of awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's interesting. The park's interesting. There are, there are also times where... Um, I mean, you, you just sometimes you just see things at the park, you know, that are like, you know, like for a while, for a while I would get there at, you know, like sometimes, sometimes I'll get there at like the same time every day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so there was this one time where, um, these, these high school kids, it was probably around noon. So maybe it was their lunch break. Mm -hmm. And this one car, this one car would come in and park at the, at the, in the parking lot. And then, an, and then this other car of kids would come uh, like right after that and park next to him. And then all the kids in the one car would get out of the one car and like get in the other car. And they just, and they would just like be in there for like, for like, you know, and I don't know, like half an hour or something. Weird. Yeah. And then, you know, and then they would like, and then eventually, if I stayed there long enough, like they would pile out of the one car and get back in the, the one car and then they'd both drive out again, you know, and I just stuff like that. <laughs> and I would be like, you know, what are they? What was that all about? Yeah. And this like this was in the winter. So it was like kind of cold outside. And I'm like, so like, are they just doing drugs in there or are they? I mean, like these kids would like. They, they got out of the one car. There was like five kids or something that got out of the one car. How the heck did they all fit in the car? And they would car? get like in the, like in the back and then like in the, like, so they were like filling the seats and like in the like hatchback, like there were like three kids in the, in the, <laughs> in the hatchback, you know, like just like, you know, they would open the back of the car or get in and like shut it. So like, like there were all these kids in there and I'm just like, what are they doing in there? You know, <laughs> like it, it was just weird. That was a weird thing. That was weird. But, uh, but then like one time and, and this worries me a little too. Like, like there have been a couple times where like, where a, ki a, a little kid's just like, like has their pants down or something. You know what I mean? Like, like this one time I, I, I go around the corner and all this, and there's this little girl sitting there like in a, with her pants down, like in like a puddle of her urine, you know, like she, like she just, she had to go and she couldn't find the bathroom. I don't know what, but, but I like come around and she's like, no, go away. Like whatever. Right. And I'm just like, uh, okay. And I, and I just turned around and like went the other way, but I'm like, where are the parents? Yeah. And, and like another time there was just some little kid like with his pants down, like, you know, and I'm like, and like, I could, that's uncomfortable. Cause like I could get in trouble. You know what I mean? Like, like if that kid was like, you know, Oh, that guy looked at my pee pee or something. You know what I mean? Like, 
their parents to be like, hey, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'd be like, what are you doing letting your kid I'm walk around anything. naked? Like, you know, so there are some, there are weird situations like that where I'm just like, I don't want to get in trouble for anything, <laughs> you know? Like, and I mean, in this day and age, like, you know, you could get accused of all sorts of weird things, you know what I mean? Yep. So. Yeah, we had a family party at the park this summer, and uh, this guy is is walking around yelling, trying to find his kid who's, like, lost, and he came over to where we were, and, like, we didn't know how to help him, and so he borrowed our phone so that he could call his wife or something. Uh and then eventually, I think they found they they found him, and they came. They kept coming back and getting like water and ice cream, and uh, and then there's like some dog running around the park, and it turns out it's their dog that just like is off the leash and just like running around. I'm like this this family. Yeah, they were very appreciative though. Yeah, there yeah there are a lot of dogs too at the park. Like people walk their dogs, and. Some are on leashes, some are not. And I don't, you know, I don't really care too much. Like, I don't, I don't love animals all that much, right? But like, like if the dog's not stupid and comes and jumps up on me, like, I don't care, right? Like if it's not on a leash, fine, whatever. If it's well behaved, fine, you know? Right. But like if it's, you know, occasionally there's ones that are obnoxious where I'm just like, eh. My wife's dog is really, really well behaved. He's a service dog. Mm. But when we go to the park, he's terrible. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I, I won't take him. If I take him to the park, I won't take him off his leash because he'll run over to other people and he just wants them to throw the ball to him and he doesn't want to give the ball back. Oh, yeah. He's the worst. <laughs> so I just refuse. It's like huh. if, if, he, if we go to the park, he just stays on a leash and then we go home because. Wow. Yeah. So he's like, so he's well trained in some things, but not others. I think the way they trained him was kind of like, okay, you're working. This is what you do. And then it's like, oh, we're going to the park. Now you take the leash off and now you can play and do whatever you want to. Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Anyway. Yeah. Well. Wow. There you go. Have any, uh. Good park stories, weird yeah. things happening in the park. Put your park stories in the comments, <laughs> and we will comment on your comment. <laughs> yeah, if you have any weird park stories, we'd love to hear them. And uh, until then, I guess we're about done. So maybe we'll film some karaoke tomorrow. That'd, that'd be cool. That would be cool. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Good to see you. Take care. See you guys. Bye-bye.